Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Let's Play Yomowari Midnight Shadows. The second game is finally released. It's actually re been released for a couple of days, unfortunately. I've had work, so I haven't been able to really get to it. But I am at I'm at it now. So we're gonna have a fun time. I've already messed with the settings, it's pretty much all of the same. Um really just need to jump right on in. Summer is almost over. My name is Yui, and I'm in elementary school. Yesterday my dog died. It's been hard. I cried a lot. Well, that's sad. Oh. Is that it? Okay. Poor Yui. She has two dogs, and one of them just died. What's up with the series wanting dogs to die at the beginning of the game? We'll come up with a... Yomawari 3 and just be like, oh, poor doggo just died again. Fell off mountain. It's a shame, isn't it? Don't toss him off the mountain now. Come on, that would be that would be sick. Don't do that. Such a sad opening. What even? Don't let him go. Or her. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go home. Go home. Why? You just, why? What are you doing? Why? You, why you just the, use directional buttons to move? Oh, that's. Oh, okay. I was about to say that's different compared to the other one. The analog stick worked last time. Now, why did we just let our dog run off for no reason? Right button to run. Ah, there we go. Oh, hopefully they made more of a reason for this thing. Left button to tiptoe. This is tiptoeing. Right, I remember that from last time. Hopefully the... It appears that there's more stamina this time, but we've also not gone around a monster, so it's possible that, you know, that depletes just as bad as last time. There was still no use for tiptoeing in the previous game, though, as far as I remember. Hello. Puppy, what are you doing? I don't even know your name. Come on now. Let's go, puppy. Oh, I am not picking up that rock. I know what happened in the last game. What are we doing? Why do I have... When you see an item you can interact with, a question mark will appear above her head. When you get close enough to the question mark, it will change to a star. Stars displayed, you can pick it up using A. Gotcha. I do not want to pick up this rock. I know what it's going to do. If I toss this rock, we're going to have another dead doggo. Bring up your items with Y. Confirm with A, Y, or X. Press XD. No! I am not using this item. You can't make me game. Oh, it's gonna make me. Oh. Okay, at least the dog didn't die. Don't do it, game. Don't you dare. I will be right there, doggo. I promise. I'll be right there. Come on, I gotta find a way around. Oh, there's a box. For items you can push, a hand icon will be displayed. Hold A in any direction. Okay. Oh, I guess I still need to push it a little bit further. Oh, 
There we go. We're going the wrong way. We need to go to the right. Game, why are you making me abandon a dog in the woods? That's a weird tree effect. Why am I abandoning a dog in the woods? Why is this elementary school child alone? You know, that, that, that that's a better question. Why is this child... Where, where are her parents? Where are your parents, Yui? You know? Where is her parents? What's in this box? Try moving this under the tree. She will hold... Oh, if you hold A, she holds the item. Well, it's got some new interesting mechanics, at least. There's a bit of, like, graphical tearing that I'm noticing, but it's not that bad. Explanation point will appear on top of the girl when she sees an item that can be interacted with. While it's displayed, perform the action with A. Come on. There we go. No! What? What? Achievement unlocked dusk. What? Did Yui just commit suicide? are blue bow but she's fucking dead I'm kind of sad that it doesn't use the same characters as the previous game but I guess it makes sense is this before she killed herself or oh wait is that the same character from the previous game no this is Yui okay I was about to say, is her, her eyeball is still there. It's not missing. Hello? Haru, sorry I'm late. Ah, Yui. Okay, so yeah, Yui's still alive at this point. Was that like an allude to what happens at the end of the game then? Do we just commit suicide? Sorry, did I scare you? No, it's okay, anyway. Yeah, let's go. The fireworks are gonna start soon. What is going on? We got fireworks. Cool. So the previous game, Yomawari was the guy who was kidnapping kids. That's gonna be like the same theme in this one. Wow. Some nice fireworks. It's already started. But like, it's so, oh, but it's so pretty. Where did I even get the word like from? So are we just best friends then? I, I'd assume that's not my sister. This is going to be the last time we can watch fireworks together. Why is that? You're moving away soon. Ah. I'm going to be sad when you go. So she's moving away. Her dog died. I'm not going to move. I don't want to leave you no matter what. I'm sorry, little elementary school kid. Sometimes you just... you have to. Haru. Oh, alright, her name's Haru, and I'm gonna stay in this town. I wanna be with you forever. Anyway, these fireworks. We made it all the way here, we should watch. True enough, 
True enough. You. Yeah, right. Do they have, like, the same bag, but, you know, hers is to the right, whereas the Yui's is down, downward? I guess they have, like, a, a bag with bunny, bunny ears on it. Lovely. That was the last one. Now it's all dark. Now Mr. Yomawari will strike. The fireworks ended. What's that noise? <laughs> you? Yeah, let's go home. It's dark. We should use the flashlight. Alright, so the flashlight. Um, how do you turn this on? Flashlight, you can charge, you can turn it back on and off with it back. You can point the flashlight with the right stick. We should use the flashlight. There we go. Oh, and she's following behind me. Okay. Come on, Haru. We go home. See, from the previews, I was getting more of a Fatal Frame 2 vibe, but I saw that. Don't you even. I know what I saw. Let's get back home. Haru, we must leave. Wait, so do I have any items in my inventory? No, okay. I saw that. Alright, let's go this way then. The lamp's off. It's kind of scary. Don't worry, Haru. Yeah. You, will you hold my hand? Of course. Yeah, hold my hand. Let's go together. Thank you. See, we're best friends. <laughs> oh, that's a weird effect. So if I just let go of A, well, okay. That's an interesting mechanic. There are words smeared on an old sign. Treasure your life. If you are troubled, please call this number. That doesn't sound good. Why? Why? Am I under attack? This doesn't sound good. Uh, I was holding your hand, come on. Haru, what's wrong? I... I hear a weird voice. Hmm? Who is that? I hear it calling me. Haru, don't listen to the voice. Come with me. Do you want to go look? No. I'm going to go look. Wait here. No, I'll go with you. Haru, wait. I have the flashlight. I'll go look. What? Just hide in the bushes. Okay. Why do I have to go look? Whoever it was saw you hide in the bushes. I have to go check up ahead. Alright. Who are you? What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? I don't see anyone. Hello? I don't see anything. Oh, there's a sparkly. What's this? Picked up a red leash. What is this? 
small red leash for puppies. I use this to take Chaco and Kiro for walks. This leash? How did this leash get here? So her dog's names are Chaco and Kuro. Oh! Bloody Jesus, what are you? Oh my. It got me. Oh, that was terrifying. Like, I didn't even go to, like, um, exit out of the screen. I wanted to go over left to, like, the flashlight and see, like, I was going to scroll down to see how many items we could pick up. But no, instead I clicked down, and then that thing, whatever it was, it just, like, jumped us. You hasn't come back yet. Did something happen? What's going on? Let's go get the flashlight. I should go see. Come on, we're gonna go get the flashlight. See, this is why it gave me, like, the Fatal Frame 2 effect, because you're playing through two different, uh, characters. And of course, it's got that, like, Japanese kind of feel to it. Pretty sure I said something similar to the first game, but... This is the flashlight. Yes, pick up the flashlight. I don't know who took off with you, but... Flashlight you had? Did she drop this while I was hiding? Something like that. Flashlight found. Flashlight you can charge. You can turn it on and off with back. You can point the flashlight the right stick right. Blue ribbon. It's the ribbon you got from you. Minus sky blue. Oh god. I was going to say, dare I actually look around in the, the collection? Looks like we got quite a few items. Two... Three, four. Oh wow, four of them? Interesting. <laughs> what happened to her? We're gonna have to find out. Let me turn on this light. Oh, what are you? I'll pass. You're, you're a mighty big one, aren't you? I've never seen anything like you before. Or strange looking sir what are you doing i guess that's the equivalent of the gigantic one in the first game this one just looks a lot stranger oh why do you have a face oh there's a second one there's two of them hide in the bushes come on hide my friend Unsatisfactory noises. Oh. Oh. It's safe now. Oh. Let's keep going this way. Unsatisfactory noises indeed. Oh, a save point. It's a Jizo statue. I'm going to pray that I find Yui, okay? Oh, there's a coin over there. We can definitely use that. Bonk. Give a coin to the Jizo. Yes. I offered a coin. Save has been completed. Good, 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 good. You, I hope you're okay. Is that another coin? Oh, it's a rock. Okay. Where even am I? Can I look at the map yet? Ha, there we are. We're up in the mountain area. I guess there's a shrine there. Observatory, empty building. My town. Oh, okay. Here's her house. Uh, my house. So we are, like, neighbors. Well... Not neighbors, per se, but you know what I mean. Like, we live in the same town. A nearby town. Damn. We've got quite a few interesting areas. We're following you at the moment. It's a big town. <laughs> hmm. 
You, where are you? Pinecone found. The pinecone's so big that it surprised me. If you gave it to a boy, they would probably play baseball with it. Accurate. Just walk up to a boy. Hey, you want a pinecone? I'd take a pinecone. What is this? Oh, it's a bush. Hi, a bush. Where am I going? This way? What's this way? Nothing. Okay. With this kind of game, you have to explore everything. After all, there's so many collectibles. This one has even more than the previous game. So that's exciting. Hello? Anyone home? Anyone home? Oh, hello. Oh. You terrify me. Tor. Eh, he's not so bad. Kind of reminds me of Chauncey from Luigi's Mansion. We'll move along. I don't know why I got the achievement, but there was an achievement called Tor that just popped up. Hello? Anyone home? Why did that even happen? Is there a ghost up here? Strange. Let's see. I feel like I've done like a huge 360 and not made any progress. All of this area looks the same. Got another Jesus statue. I guess I might as well save here. If I remember right, you want to save Adam because then you can teleport between them or something. Got another coin. Hello, little bird. It's a birdie. I guess you don't want to talk to me. Understandable. Okay, well that that. That was safe compared to the first game. Usually in the first game, if you found any of those, like... I guess it's locked. Yes, it's locked. If you found any of those, like, manhole covers, they always grabbed you while you were walking over them. But it could still happen. It could happen while you're, uh, running away from monsters, and then they'll get you. <laughs> Where did you fall from, you creep? I'm out of here. I'm getting out of dodge. I ain't even falling for that one, see? <gasps> My doggo! What are you doing? What are you doing? I saw you go back there. You do not make a satisfactory noise. It's gotta be said. Am I safe? Now, are you Charo or... I know you're not Poro. Poro is from the previous game. Yeah, there you are. Who are you, Charo or... Churro, or you? You? What? What is going on? He's off his broken charm found. Chewed up charm, it got it from a dog, it has some black hairs on it, it's really worn out. Interesting. I'm going to assume that one belongs to you. I mean, that's her dog, right? She has two dogs. You? You home? I wonder if you went home or something. She just abandoned you. Dropped her flashlight and was hashtag out of there. parent walks out. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Do you know what time it is? 
It's dark. He was gone. You gotta go find her. I know. I'll leave a letter so she'll see it if she comes back. Yeah, that'll work. That's elementary school logic, I suppose. I left a letter at Yu's house. I should head home now. Fair enough. Home is down. So that's the letter I left. The letter I wrote to you is lying there. That means that you isn't back yet. Yes, we just left it. Alright, let's get home. So do I have the option of teleporting? No, I don't. Okay. Little birdies. There's a vending machine right here. I know. Yes. Offered a coin. I have one more. Gotcha. Let's see. So my home, from what it looks like on the map, should be like right around the corner. Got a rock. Yeah, it seems like it should be across this like little... I don't know. What are those called? It's a river, I know, but... Like, it seems like it's part of pl plumbing. I knew this would happen eventually. Come on, get back in there. Get back in there. I ain't even... I ain't even playing with you. Anything back here? Oh, hello, creepy dude. I give him prop... Oops. Things are a lot creepier in this game. They definitely went for more of the scare versus the, uh... Well, they went for more of a scare. Puzzle 1 found. Check. Dirty puzzle piece. I wonder what kind of picture it's going to make. Fair enough. Hello? I'm gonna go down this way because I'm pretty sure this is where I need to go. Is it impossible for me to get to my house? Oh. Oh! What are you? What are you? No thanks. You did not make a pleasurable noise. What's up with these monsters making weird fucking noises? I can't say that I'm a fan. You got a lovely face. Got a coin. I just want to get to my house. Can I get to my house, please? Oh! Hello, you. Is there something this way? Neat. I got a rock. Creep. Hopefully this doesn't lead to a dead end. I just thought about that. I was kind of like... If this leads to a dead end, I'm, I'm screwed. I really need to get to my house. Hello, bag. Oh, we got another item. Oh! Hello, you! What is your fucking problem? Ugh. It's a construction sign. We apologize for the mess is written on it. Yeah, that's neat. Ow, my heart. My heart, it hurts. That, that terrified me. Why, why are you doing these things? Game, why you gotta be like, little birdies, they're flying away. <laughs> what are you? You're interesting. I can't do anything with you. Got a rock. Want a rock? Throw a rock at you. Aha! Take that. Where is my house? Do 
Do I live in a very fancy house? Oh. I finally got home. Looks like I live in a very fancy house. Mew's not here. Get in there, Haru. Why am I moving if I live so fa in such a fanciful house? This is a really nice house. You! I wonder where she went. I hope I'll be able to see her again. Fireworks Day. Today is Fireworks Day. On my way home, I saw a spirit I've never seen before. It attacked us, and I lost you. I wonder if you is home okay. A lot of things keep popping up in my head, and I don't think I can sleep tonight. Next page. Okay, there is no next page. Spider thing? You, Haru crying. Some creepy thing. Picture of us at the, uh, fireworks. That's cool. Would you like to save? Yes. Achievement unlocked sundown. Well, that was an interesting start. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, though. It looks like we'll be playing as you again. We'll have to figure out what kind of creepy-ass monster has us trapped. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. So, see you all then.